Hollywood Studios, we brought Morgan because Toy Story Land. Right? That kind of makes sense? Yep. Yeah, we gotta do Sicky Dog Dash. It's the first time, and uh, I think he's gonna like it. So let's go do this. Hopefully, he likes it. Look at this, they have Iron Man light up bubble gauntlets. I've never seen anything like that here at Hollywood Studios. Look at that. How much are they? Brown. I hate when they put the color on and you don't even see a sign for brown. There's no sign for brown. But we're gonna say it's $25.99. How much is brown? $25. I was so close. Look at that. I guess I said $25.99. Ha! I knew it! Thank you! Well, we're gonna get right to it. Head on over to Toy Story Land because we have a fast pass for Slinky Dog Dash in 15 minutes. Titanic leave in five minutes! And Slinky Dog Dash, 90 minutes. Line starts here. Fresh fruit? Fresh fruit. How much is a banana? $2.25. Oh, I'll pass for now. Okay. Thank you, though. A, bunch of a pound for 49 cents. Uh huh. You guys know how much we love Slinky Dog. Yes. I love Slinky Dog. So we're going back row. Here we are. We get Slinky Dog's waggling tail. Hey, he might get waggly tail syndrome. It's a real thing, everybody. It really is. Nate thinks I... Gracie wags her tail really hard when she sees us. And I told him we gotta be really careful because she's gonna get waggly tail syndrome. Yeah. And he said it's not a real thing. So it is Morgan and Burn's first time riding and Burn is not a roller coaster fan. But I think she'll like this ride. Yeah. So it's a good um good experience for people that aren't really roller coaster, you know, friendly. <laughs> Big finale. We are stuck on Slinky Dog. We got Slinky Dogs in front of us and Slinky Dogs in back. Oh, we're moving. Oh, I thought it was the time. I thought we were going to be stuck and get walked off. Oh, well. Hello, son. Son, private son. Private son. Private son. Pleasure to meet you. Private son, what you got going on? What is this ball? I use this for hand eye coordination tactic skills. Nice. There we go. They call me Private Biceps. So I, uh, I'm pretty sure he's the only one that calls himself Private Biceps. Look at those. That's a heavy crayon. Uh huh. strong for the Green Army. Be careful. All right, ready? Whoa! 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 Wow. Now we can see what they call you. Now we can see. Now it's true. Too big. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. No way. Yes. 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 Impressive. Yes. I'm very shocked. And I got to give you a zoom in action right here because a ship has landed at Star Wars Land. Wow. You guys see it? Progress, I say. So we were gonna try to get on Alien Swirling Saucers, but it is a 75 minute wait. What's the abbreviation for Alien Swirling Saucers? Oh boy. Ah, he got it. <laughs> that was one of the best character interactions I think we've ever had, right? That's because I shoved Morgan out and said that he was my son. Ah, oh, is that what it I was? I sacrificed him. Ah, oh, you sacrificed him to the Green Army men. I did, I did. This vlog is very similar to a vlog 
that we've done recently, I feel like. I remember coming to Toy Story Land and then going over the Pizza Rizzo to see if we can try the worst pizza in Disney, yeah, which we've never tried before. But during that vlog, when we got over there, they were closed. There it is. Pizza Rizzo. The city's top rated pizza, eh? Wow, it is not like when we come here and we got the place all to ourselves. It is actually jam-packed in here. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen it like this before because the only time we've ever seen it in here is when it's completely empty. The whole thing about Pizza Rizzo being the worst pizza on Disney property is because everyone always says it to us. We've never tried it and today is the first day. So I'm happy to give you our thoughts. And this is the first time we've ever come up here not to dance. So Veronica got just a plain cheese pizza and I went with the Meat Lovers pizza <laughs> and Bernard Morgan pepperoni, right? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. And then it comes with these little bowls of noodles. Ante pasta. Anti pastas. Look at that. I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. I don't eat anti pasta, so I'm probably gonna skip that. But you're gonna try it though, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, I just dropped like 90% of this. She's on the trying board. it. No, there's like vegetables in it. Hold on. Well, just get the noodles. Tastes like pasta. Noodles. Noodles. With Italian dressing. Oh. Well, I still wouldn't like it. I'm excited. Little tiny baby size. It does remind me, you know, burn hit it right on the spot. Definitely like Little Caesars. If you like crust, it's very good because there's a lot of crust and it's flavorful. And I'm a crust kind of guy. I do like crust. Me too. Oh my gosh. During operating hours up here at the dance party, they actually have props like hula hoops and stuff like that, which is kind of cool, but I wish they would leave it out for the people that come in here when it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Us. All right, the pizza was good, but we need to get down to business. I thought I did good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We got our dance on, and now we're heading back to Toy Story Land because we did get a Toy Story Midway Mania Fast Pass, so we're coming back for it. <laughs> Potato head, I'm going for a beaver today. Toy Story Land needs to do something about the no shade thing. This is intense. I have never felt it this hot in a park. Worse than Animal Kingdom. It's definitely very hot. I feel bad for the cast members. All right, camera's going away. What are you doing? It's me. All right, camera's going away. It's me and Morgan first. Burn and Veronica. I Ladies you. versus fellas. We're gonna win. Yeah. We'll win, we'll win. Way to play, everyone! Now you get to score points! Put your glasses on, guys. Get the fuck out of the hit Watch out, there's a squirrel here. Oh, squirrel! Oh, scooter! No, not scooter! All I can say is the fellas definitely won because Veronica and Burn didn't play. 
Yeah, we did. They were looking for hidden Mickeys the whole time. We found one. It's on the volcano with all the Don't tell them, ah! All right, guys, we gotta get out. There's a storm of brewing, and we got trivia tonight. All right, guys, so I think we're done. Yep, it was a great day at Hollywood Studios. It was a hot, 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 hot day. Not complaining. I love it. Yeah. I love almost passing out and drinking beets and bottles of water. Lots of water. Oh, by the way, happy anniversary, Michael and Marianne. Here comes Morgan. No. Hey. Oh, there he is. I want to get this on record. Oh, boy. Morgan, what did you just say to me? Nothing. If I get 20,000 <laughs> subscribers, he will buy me the Mickey Mouse Ray Bear at the Plaza in Magic Kingdom Adventureland. Put it on record. Morgan said it. Love the life you live. Live the life you love. We'll see you next time. Okay, we have got some mail. This first one is from my mom. It came with a Tiki Bird dog toy for Gracie, but she has already destroyed it. Lots of dog toys. This is the only left one. She got me the Mickey Mouse from Target brush collection for makeup. Chapstick. Pajamas. Heat pads. A bra. She got me an Animal Kingdom Lodge cup. I don't know where she found it. Some random fiber optic butterfly. Nail files for the nails I don't have. Band-aids. Sticky pads. Chapstick. A key ring. Um, what else did she put in here? A necklace that says M of WG. I don't even know what that means. A makeup bag that says Hello Beautiful. Some shopping bags that she knows I love these. Shopping bags. Reach for the Stars and Paris. I love these for reusable shopping bags. It also came with some more chapstick. So yes, this is from my mom. I love getting packages from mom. Thank you very much. Then we got this in the mail. These are little adorable, oops, I almost dropped you guys, salt and pepper shakers. They are so stinking cute. I think I'm going to give my mom my Beauty and the Beast ones now because I like these ones even more. And these are from someone, uh, the box says the Swiss co colony, but it didn't have a letter or anything in it. But I uh, thank you, Swiss Colony. I really appreciate it. Beep. And then this came from Cousin Fred and Amanda. They got us the, this Live the Life You Love, which that's going to fit in perfect here. And then today this came for us. This is from Charlotte, North Carolina, and it's shiny and sparkly. And it says, hey, Nate and Veronica, I love your videos. Y'all are so funny and adorable. Your videos have given me great ideas for my next trip in February. Hope to run into you in the parks from Savannah. And then she says, P.S. Shout out to the Walt Disney World couple. I found you guys through their channel. So I suppose a shout out to Taylor and Josh and a huge thank you so much for the card. I love it, Savannah. Thank you very much. And then we got to the post office and there was a Tupperware container shipped to us. And inside of this Tupperware container, there was a letter. And it's from Karen, Karen Cook. And she sent us these. She said that she knows Nate likes these because of the 30 snacks one, the video from the other day. These Lion King postcards for me because she said that she knows that's my favorite movie. Snacks for Nate, so he doesn't feel left out because because she sent us this amazing scrapbook ready for me with tape to put the pictures in. 
It's all about the skirt for the teacup photo shoot at the boardwalk. And look it, a great summer day. We've got your say cheers, time for glamour shots. And then she got the pages to match where we took our pictures. Nate and I got birthday buttons for his sister Bonnie to celebrate her 23rd birthday. So this is where we'll put the picture of that. And then these are to match the beach club, the boardwalk wall. Cheers. Nate and Josh duck out to get a beer at Martha's Vineyard. Beaches and cream. We are meeting our friends Jason and his son, Nate. We are hoping to conquer the kitchen sink. P.S. We're celebrating Jason's birthday. And then, it's a win. We finished the kitchen sink. <laughs> oh my God. Nate just creeped up behind me and was what? breathing. <laughs> Why did you just... Oh, jeez. I thought some creepy man was behind me. Love the life you live, live the life you love, toodaloo. Veronica and Nate, thanks for sharing your blogs with us. Veronica always makes me laugh and I love Nate's narratives. Karen Cook, July 2018. This is amazing. Oh, don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> Hello, 